So today the FAA decided to release the new version of Before You Flight, which is the app that they had created a couple of years ago, which unfortunately was kind of useless. Uh, a lot of people found that there were errors in there. It was difficult to use. So they actually worked with Kitty Hawk, which makes a, uh, which is a lens provider, which makes also an app uh, to get approval to fly in controlled airspace. A lot of videos on this channel about this. Uh, so they, they worked with, with Kitty Hawk and they came up with a new version of Before You Flight. And actually that happened today. So I've been playing with it and, um, and I want to give you a little bit of what I think and where this belongs, where this app should be, what I think it was designed to be and where I think it falls short a little bit. So first, where does this fit in the, uh, in, in the, the array of apps, if you want, that's out there for drones? This is designed to give you an idea of what airspace is around you and if you need approval before you fly in the airspace, hence the name before you fly. So you should be opening this. It's going to give you, it's supposed to give you information about um, airspace, if it's controlled airspace. It's supposed to give you information about uh, TFRs, I guess, and it's supposed to give you information about a whole di lot of different things if there is airspace that you're not supposed to be in. So the concept is great. The concept is you open this app, you see if you're good to go. If it's green, then you're good to go. If it's uh, orange, you should be paying attention. And if it's red, then it's kind of a big no-no. So from here, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the app. Um, I'm using the iPad just because it's a bigger screen, but it's also available on uh, mobile devices. Uh, so first thing is you do is you, you log in here and you see the app and there's a big disclaimer and it tells you basically uh, you're in charge of everything and you can't trust the data that's in here. That's kind of a common uh, thing, but I'm going to let you guys read everything before you agree. Uh, you got to go all the way to the bottom. I know on my, uh, on my cell phone, I had a little bit of an issue clicking the button. Um, it took it a little while, but now it works. So, um, here it's asking me if I want to allow my data. So uh, this is where I live, don't, don't stalk me. Uh, but I live to the southwest of the Prescott Airport and I live right at the edge of a class E airspace that starts at the surface. It's classified as E2 airspace. Now, E2 airspace technically does not require approval because it's not a class of airspace that is actually um, a class E airspace starting at the surface that is the main airspace for that airport. That's where you usually need approval to fly. So I know this, I know that I don't need approval to fly in here. If you actually go to the US facility map, uh, there's no approval needed to fly in here. But to my surprise, what happened is that Kitty Hawk here, not, I'm sorry, Kitty Hawk, um, before you fly, is telling me if I tap on here and view details, it's telling me class E2 for Prescott, which makes sense, but it also says airspace authorization is required. Um, if you click more, it doesn't tell you much, it just tells you that uh, this is the airport, KPRC, and um, it says, the remark says legal description references NOTAM. Basically, I think that's they're telling you that the information they get comes from a NOTAM, which is kind of interesting as well. Now, it also tells me that within 2.4 miles, there is a class D airspace, which is which I know of. If I zoom out right here, I'm going to minimize this. If I zoom out right here, I can see the airport. And here it is. That's KPRC, Prescott Law Field. And, um, and in here, I do need approval to fly. Now, if I put a pin somewhere in the class D airspace, now it's looking up the information. And then at one point, it's going to pop up. And here's the information I can do again. It's yellow, it's telling me there is a warning and it says that there may be an airspace restriction in process. And if you look in here, it says class D airspace, uh, airspace authorization required. And then if I click more, what I'm a little bit disappointed about is that this is not telling me anything about the grid. Can I fly to 400 feet with approval? Can I fly to 200 feet with approval? Or is this in a zero grid, in which case I can't fly at all in here? Um, so I know if I go close to the airport, I know I'm right on top of the airport right now. I know I can't fly there. It's a, it's a zero grid, but look what it says. It actually says airspace restriction may be in effect again and it tells me that airspace approval is required which again I think this is misleading people a little bit this should be red it should basically tell you you can't fly in there uh, especially as a hobbyist it's a zero grid I know it and there's no way that you're going to be able to fly as a part 107 as a remote pilot I can request to fly in the zero grid and and uh, and work with the tower to make it happen um, so 
Again, a little bit of disappointment here. I think the information is somewhat incorrect. But if we zoom out right here, uh, you can see the rest of the information now. I like that the Grand Canyon, which is north of where I live, is in red. So right here, if I tap on the Grand Canyon, then I'm going to get uh, the information in a second that's going to tell me uh, that I can't fly in that area because it's a national park. So that's a good thing. That's a positive. I think it's it, it can help some people. Now, the comment that I'm going to make on this is this doesn't really give me any more information than Kitty Hawk, for example, would. I can go in Kitty Hawk and I can find immediately if I need approval by just looking at the map. So this is kind of useless in the way. It's just an additional app that I'm going to check. That's actually not going to give me enough information because I'm going to have to go to a different app to get that information. So here you can see on the Grand Canyon, as I was talking, it loaded up and then it says uh, can fly, you know, flight are prohibited. So it's in red. Again, I think that closer to the airport, it should have said the same thing. Don't fly. It's red. Also, one thing that I notice in here, I'm going to go back to Prescott. Um, Right here, there's Granite Mountain Wilderness Area. We cannot fly in, mount in wilderness areas. And unfortunately, this is not included in here. So some person could go in there and, uh, and go in that area hiking, pull out the drone and just fly because it's telling them here that they technically can fly, which is not correct. So um, I think it's a step forward. I'm going to end it here because that's really all the information I have. Uh, just looking at this, I'm not going to be using this app, unfortunately. And uh, I'm just going to stand with, uh, with Kitty Hawk at the, at the moment and uh, using the US facility map to find my information. I think something is missing. Uh, hopefully the, the app can be improved a little bit and hopefully there's some feedback from other users. Uh, this is the first day that it's out. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna read on forums and see what other people are saying. But right now this is kind of my, uh, my first impression on this app. So uh, tell me in the comments, I wanna hear, are you using it? Um, what do you think? Give it a shot, maybe try it for a couple of days and tell me what you think. Is this something that you're gonna be using? Is this another app that um, you don't really need because you're getting the information from somewhere else? I want to hear from you. Uh, I want to provide some feedback to the AFA and also to Kitty Hawk. I think uh, this could be a great product if that information was in there. If everything was in included in this app, then uh, this is probably something that I would look at at the moment. Not really something that I find very useful. All right, this is it. Sign off. I'll see you guys on Friday for another news update. There's quite a few things going on this week. And uh, this is it. Signing off.